In our previous class, we had seen how to invoke a stored procedure available in a particular schema in a database and get the response back. In this class, we'll learn how we can invoke a function and get the details from a database. So for demonstration purpose, I have created a simple function within a package that is the greet function. Let me change this to func. Yeah. So this will accept a name in the request and it will respond back the greetings. Let me walk you through the body of this function. This function will respond back with the message saying hello, the name what we supply from the integration and the message have a nice day. In case of any error, we will get the error. Now let's run this or compile this function in our database. Yeah, package got compiled. Now let me compile the body of this package. Run. There seems to be some error. Let me remove this colon and run. Yeah, this got compiled successfully. Now let me commit the changes. Now in order to access the function, I will create an integration. I will not create the integration from scratch, rather I will clone our previously created integration which we had used to invoke stored procedure. Click on clone. Here instead of stored procedure, let me name this to function. Invoke. Click on clone. Edit this integration. Now let me modify this connection wizard to access the function. Click on edit. Let me keep this default that is invoke a stored procedure. Click on next. Now since we have only one package which I have overwritten just now to create the function. So it is showing one function is available within this package. Select this function. Click on next and done. So grid function is the function which will accept input parameter and return the message. So let me modify this mapper. Let me see. Mapping is fine. Yeah, this is we are passing name to name what we get from the request. As we are using the same naming convention for stored procedure and the function, it has taken the same namespace and the name element. No need to modify the mapper in this case. And in the response, we need to map the response what we get from the function that is grid function to this message. Now let me remove existing mapping from here. Drag and drop the response from grid function. Click on close. Apply the changes to this mapping. We close the integration, save. We'll activate and test this integration. Now in the body name I am passing as Binum learning and clicking on test. As you can see we are getting the message hello Binum learning have a nice day. This message is from the function. This function will accept the name that is Binum learning and it will return hello followed by the name and a message have a nice day. So like this we can invoke a function which is residing in a particular schema in a database with the help of integration database adapters. This was a just simple demonstration use case which you have seen but functions could be used for carrying out very complex transactions in a database in our actual business need.